he entered into the Hungarian Air Force because the family gave him a direction that he should be uh, more than a farmer taking care of animals because he had the capability of being more than that. Uh, he was very, very uh, taken aback by how, how uh, bad people were, uh, were in uh, uh, war. Uh, he was talking about there was this uh, little village in Russia where the cholera broke out and uh, the Russian people, the Russian soldiers, they took the whole, uh, whole village. I don't know how many people, it may have been uh, hundreds or thousands, I don't know. They took them into a big, uh, big building where they kept, uh, kept uh, wheat and stuff like that and they burned it to the ground with the people in them just to stop the cholera spreading in the country. They, they did know that people were taken away. Uh, as, uh, actually my mother uh, was so my father was in the war and uh, my, uh, the neighbors uh, were uh, Jewish people and uh, uh, they came to take them away and uh, uh, my mother took their little girl in so, uh, so the Germans couldn't take the little girl. They, they kept the information from everybody, they kept that information from, uh, from uh, German people and everyday German people didn't know, they knew there was something going on but they did not do, know the uh, the Nazis knew that was evil what they were doing. They did not want the world to know about that. They kept it under and the people, I assume, uh, who worked in those camps, you know, they were too ashamed to talk about it. But they were, they, they were scared, they did not like it. They did not like the German soldiers. They seemed to be very cold and uncaring and they were, the people were very scared of them. My house, uh, at the time, my father was uh, in the war and my mother was there and uh, when the Germans, uh, uh, Germans came in, my father went and packed up my mother and took her to my grandmother, his, his parents' house. And the next day that house was bombed down. It was bombed out. She would have died if she stayed there. That, that's a terrible times, you know, and we can't even imagine how people felt about stuff back then. It probably didn't have much of an effect because uh, uh, my grandmother took the little girl in and then the, uh, the family, uh, other side of the family was called uh, uh, uncles or aunts, I think, and uh, the little girl was there only a, a couple of few days and the family came and took the, took the little girl. It was just a kind of a, a, on the moment spur, you know, they knew that it's not good what's happening, so they, my mother decided to uh, hold the little girl back. He hated it, he suffered a lot, you know, he was shot down twice. The uh, scurvy, they, they, had, uh, they, they ate rotten food, they ate more than bread, whatever they could put their, uh, put their hands on because they were hungry. And at one point you don't care if it has a little mold on it or... or uh, it was uh, terrible, terrible, yet he talked about it all his life. He made uh, lifelong friends. When he realized that the Nazis uh, had killed millions and millions of Jews, um, everybody felt terrible. My father felt terrible. If he refused to go to the war, he would probably be executed. That was a very controversial war, and the Hungarians were pulled into it, and he was an officer, and he had no other choice. He thought he was, uh, he was, uh, uh, he was fighting for his country. So the Russians won't come and take over, and uh, they were really afraid of the Russians. My father was terrified. Uh, at the end of the World War II, when the Soviet Soviets took over, my father and her, his platoon, they got a bunch of trucks and got all their families on the truck, and they went to, uh, they drove to Germany, so they fall into American uh, hands, not the Soviets, not the Russian. Russian hands because they, they, they were scared of the Russians, they were brutal and uh, they were hoping the Americans would take care of them, which they did. N nothing, big, uh, nothing bad happened to them, they were fed, they were cleaned up and uh, everybody was offered to go to the United States. But my father and mother decided not to because of the parents here in Hungary, I mean back in, back in Hungary. They were afraid what's going to happen to them so they decided to go back to Hungary.